It all comes down to this. The last World Cup race of the season and what a place to finish here in Snowshoe, West Virginia. The country that invented mountain biking is sure to put on an incredible end to the season. I'm Brianna McShane and this is the last stop of the Mercedes-Benz UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. The battle for the overall could not be any tighter, just 20 points separates Kate Courtney and Yolanda Neff. Kate has good memories racing here, she's won nationals before and she's going to get a lot of extra motivation from the home crowd. But we know Yolanda is a fighter, whoever finishes in front gets that trophy. And we are off, and will it be a fast start from Yolanda Neff, she's going to want to get to the front fast. No messing about for Neff then. Fast track here, not so much climbing on this one. We expect the pack not to really uh, open up too much. One and two in the series out the front of this race at the moment. Get the lights down through these rocks. And he lasts there, looking for a big result at the end of the year. Neff going back to fourth now. Oh, Neff is really in trouble here, but There's no power left in her body. She is really in trouble here. Hard to watch. And Kate knows, and she's pushing hard. She is watching the World Cup title just slip away from her with every rider that goes by her. Well, one thing we do know about Yolanda Neff, on the bad days, they will dig incredibly deep. Today was surely not at my best, but nevertheless, I fought for every meter, I fought for every place, because I thought, like, even if I don't catch Kate, maybe the gap would be close enough in points that it would be enough. Kate Courtney definitely struggling with the high pace at the front as well now. Something is going on with Kate Courtney right now. The race for your world is still wide open. I think it probably is, but there. Yeah. Now in 12th place, K there, only 15 points between them. Neff looking good again, but the tempo back up. This position would give her the title, but not really by a comfortable margin. An unbelievable race here in Snowshoe in the USA. Neff will know that now, but it has to be go time. If anything can be done, two laps to go. So in terms of really stretching out the leaders, Grand Prevo goes through in second. And all of a sudden, I would say Kate Courtney starting to look a lot more composed than we saw her a couple of laps ago. Grand Prevo, can she close that gap on Terpster? Ah, flat tyre for Jenny Rispets. Kate Courtney now gains more points towards that overall. On a downside, pushing hard. Grand Prevo is coming back. And look at Pauline for Ambravo. Here goes Pauline for Ambravo then. And she takes the lead and cuts Terpster off. And it's Pauline for Ambravo, who has an incredible couple of weeks, takes the win here in Snowshoe, her second World Cup win of 2019. Matt Terpster have taken that second place. Annie Last is going to come up to take third, her best of 2019. Another strong performance for Rebecca McConnell. Stars and stripes all around. It's been an unbelievable season. Your World Cup champion for 2019, Kate Corney from the USA. And here comes Yolanda Neff. Today was simply not her day. The consistency's been there, the wins haven't, but she's got to be happy really with this year. But I'm letting go. Yeah, it was a sort of tough uh, week because with the World Tour Champion title, it was a lot of solicitations. So finally, I could manage it, and to win today, it's a, it's a super big win for me. I mean, uh, second place in the overall, I think it reflects a bit my whole season. I was uh, five times second, so Kate was a very deserved winner. She, she had three wins this year, and I guess the, the overall title is uh, yeah, very deserved for her. USA! USA!
Oh, it means everything. I think uh, the overall title requires, you know, delivering every time and really um, racing smart and never giving up. And that's something that means so much to me at the end of a long season. Nino Scherter has already wrapped up the overall World Cup title, but he is still hungry today. And so are all the other riders because this is the last chance to get a podium and that's going to make it even harder for Nino to get that win. And they are off then, the final race of the 2019 World Cup season is underway. Very different track to a lot of the ones we've seen. Look at that enormous pack of a leading group. Oh, 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 It's a big group that just keeps getting bigger as well. I expected close racing. I don't think I expected racing this close. Avancini is sprinting to that uh, single track. And Avancini now is definitely upping the tempo, upping the pace here. Not a lot of love lost between these two. Keeps getting bigger, another nine seconds on it now then. Oh, he has a flat. Oh. He's a shorter, real flat. It's soft, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a It's real definitely flat. soft. What's he going to do if he stops, but surely the win is gone. And, and there we go then, so drama in this final, Nino Scherter. Pulls in with a flat rear tyre. You can see there how little tread they've got on those tyres. 49, 14, he stopped. So well, let's see how long it will take. The rear goes in, the axle's back in. It's a good one, it's a good stop. He's gonna come out with that chasing pack. 20 seconds right now. So go. 25 seconds, he lost. And what will Avon see in his tactic be now? Would he go or? He has to go flat out. Can the Brazilian make history today? He would be the first Brazilian ever to win a World Cup downhill or cross country race. 27 seconds that gap then. Fuming getting on his wheel. Nine riders in that chasing group. He's got a good gap. He needs to try and protect it if he can, that is for sure. Oh, they're not that far back, but. And Scherter already bringing that gap down, I'm going to say. 20 seconds now, I'm right. And the gap looks to me like it's coming down again. They're going to catch him any second now. An amazing race here unfolding in front of us. And it comes down to the last lap. Unbelievable. I think it never happens before. No, I don't remember anything like that. They come, listen to the crowd roaring. They've been treated to something special. It's not over that yet. One to go then in snowshoe for the World Cup finals. And Manny Fumic now surges to the front. Haven't seen he goes around the outside to be with his teammate. Oh, and a big crash. I was in position one, just came around the corner and then my front wheel just washed out. To be honest, I mean, yeah, in the end, I can only laugh, you know, you can only, what else can you do? Looks like Nino is pushing hard. Yes, he is. And he does. Little gaps opening up. Look at Forster. Well, absolutely. This is like a sprint this last lap. Oh, this is all out from Nino. Forster up the inside. Oh, Forster takes the lead. I didn't see that coming. No way. He has done it. And last Forster's riding away with it to take his first. Ever World Cup win! Scherzer looks happy enough, he's done it! World Cup champion for 2019! 
Jumping right yeah. across the line. Yeah. Third, haven't seen him fall. Tempier in fifth. Manuel Fumic after that crash. A really good ride, his best actually this year. I don't know, I, I, I had the feeling. I had the feeling yesterday, I had the feeling this morning. That's a good race, the course suits me. I felt great. I wanted to, fi to finish the season on a high end. It's the way I dreamed it. It's, a, it's amazing. I have no words to describe the feeling because, uh, as I said, it was a really, really heavy year for me and it's like a proper emotional today. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a crazy season, didn't start it so well, but uh, now I'm uh, so happy winning uh, World Championships, winning the overall, winning Cape Epic. Uh, it's insane, I'm, I'm super stoked, yeah. <laughs> that was such an amazing race. I could not have asked for a better way to finish this season. That's it for 2019. I hope you enjoyed our highlight videos. I certainly have enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought in the comments below and we'll see you back in 2020.